Sweet Virgo, I just want to say to you most tenderly that your that capability of yours to be self-sufficient at its core, your core nature, it it is something that is all it is one it is of a piece with your ability to be with another. It is of a piece with your ability to be with another. So that in any relation you do not betray yourself. That's when you know you've overcompromised and you know on a soul level. So you do not betray yourself and then also within, you know, that core knowing of yourself that should expand and radiate as your heart calls to another. Basically, this is a long-winded way maybe of saying to just trust in your heart's knowing to shape your decisions in life. Okay, Virgo. Oh my gosh, long-winded opening. And you're the last one for October because last month you were the first because of your birthday, sweetie. So... My dear, dear, dear Virgo, what is the depth truth of the happiness between you and another? Oh my gosh, I keep getting this card. Okay, it's the Eight of Swords, so it may just be at this moment. But anyway, it's a release of any barriers you've placed around yourself in methods of self-protection that have accumulated over years and perhaps certainly I'm sure for very good reasons as well this card in this card typically the swords are closer to the person and they're also harsher the swords in this deck don't look as harsh as in other decks um what I want you to look at in this card is this gorgeous photonic light that is streaming down onto this person and onto this landscape as they move into this portal of, of releasing themselves from almost blinding themselves to the truth of the depth of their capability to love. And then they move. So each you and your counterpart may move into this It almost makes me want to cry at this point, Virgo. It's just this ability to be your tenderest self and um, and to be, I mean, you always are that, but to release these layers of protection, they're not necessary within this connection. They're not necessary at all. What may you release? that is familiar within yourself. Release in some way, draw upon in some renewed way. Um, um, and accept. In some previously unaccepted way, okay. So it's, it's your ability to contemplate, to you know, perhaps you're slow in a way to make decisions sometimes, or or you're anxious when those crux moments come and you have to retreat, and that's okay, Virgo. That's okay, and you can draw upon that, but you can also, in some way, release that because you're coming into this time and space and connection or renewal of connection where you really, it's really safe. You don't have to go into that anxiety or that self-projection at those critical junctures. You may reveal your tenderest self in this light of this unconditional love between your heart and another's. And the person you're thinking of has this really grounded way of um, letting their motion, emotions inhabit them, a depth of maturity, 
Um, and I almost, you know, part of this, so they can accept this in themselves, accept this capability in themselves, be grounded in a new way. Maybe they've been a little flighty with emotions um, or, you know, disassociated. And this is like an acceptance of the fact that they feel things really deeply, but but a calmness with that, like a new sense of calmness with that. What surprises each of you in yourself as you come into or as you articulate yourself within this relationship, if it's whether it's new or ongoing? What that surprises you within yourself supports the continuance, continuance the, the renewal, the stewardship, the... enjoyment of this relationship so for you it's the ability to really truly have this reciprocal way of being creative and of being perceptive um, and of creating the spaciousness and holiness of perception and consciousness that is your birthright. Wow. And for your counterpart, okay, so what surprises them is their ability to stand their ground, to stand their ground and not betray themselves or not be overwhelmed by these emotions again. Um, their, their capability to calmly and circumspectly um, stand their ground in a way that's not necessarily conflictual, or at least it doesn't create conflict within them because they know what their ground is. They know who they are. And they know who they love. Okay. How is this time here on earth supporting the two of you in um, discerning the proper shape for this relationship? Okay, and it's the six of swords. It's moving through difficult times. There's been a moving through difficult times maybe together. Um, possibly there's a parting of the ways, but I think it's like a renewal of each of you coming into... Whether, not knowing how this will play out within the way that you create the space of your relationship with each other, there's a way that each of you and the general collective is coming into this deepening alignment of each person really groundedly claiming the birthright that is theirs, the birthright of the joy of existing embodied true in the truth of their soul in another deck in this deck the R tarot deck it's um the six of swords is represented by oh her name's not coming to me right now but a transgender woman who lived sort of in the first part of the 20th century but lived as a woman um as herself as herself her soul's true self, you know, despite the rules against that at that time, that injustice, she lived in justice and joy. And, and this is a time in which we are all moving into that. And sometimes that may mean that the way that relationships have been formatted between people end up having to shift as they each come into more of their, or, you know, a time of just being so thoroughly themselves that they may not be in a place that denies or in a relationship that requires them to deny anything that requires them to deny anything about themselves or their experiences or their feelings or their, you know, I, I guess this reading might be getting a little scary if people are on the cusp of a possibly a breakup, but I want you to know that the, what you're coming into is this really, this ability to be your tenderest self in the world and to feel safe in that, okay?
okay? You can draw upon your own ability to create here on earth and to be embodied here on earth, the Empress, such capability. And this is, and all your ancestors are supporting you this in this as well. Um, all those around you, both physically and in the outer realms that we don't always acknowledge. There, you're so supported, even even perhaps by those who don't seem to be supporting you. I don't want you to be in any kind of situation where you're being harmed. But we are all, trust in your own heart. Trust in your own heart. Trust in your own heart, okay, and your counterpart is being supported um, by being like pace, the pace of their own soul's growth and all the, all the committed certainty and accumulation and accretion of care um, of those around them and those who've come before them. Okay, my dear Virgo, let's see if I can Gently, I gotta unhook the phone. Sorry, that was probably a little awkward. Okay, so there's so much beauty here, and it's really about each of you coming into the depth, tenderness of your own self. I'm not sure for some of you, this probably means coming into a new relationship or a renewal of a relationship, and for some of you, it may mean a parting of the ways, but it's it can be done in a gentle way. It really can. Okay. Love to you.